In this video, we are going to take a look at a stairway that has a couple of different riser heights that might be higher than normal. And a similar example like this was sent to me asking for a little help. And I think if I had a situation like this, I would go ahead and rebuild the stairway. However, I will leave that up to you. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now here we have a situation where we have four steps that are all the same size, same riser height and tread length. And we also have two separate flights of stairs. So if we have a flight of stairs and then a landing and then another flight of stairs, then your local building department might allow you to change the riser heights and the tread width or tread depth. So keep that in mind if you're dealing with a situation like this. So as long as you have a landing, something that your local building department will approve as a landing, that is usually going to be the width of the stairway in depth. So I believe here we have a three foot wide stairway and we have a three foot depth except we have a few riser variations where we have coming out of the house or the top of the floor inside the house, we have about five and three sixteenths of an inch for our riser. And this usually won't be a problem if the door swings into the house and not over the steps. And I do have other videos on that at our website in the building code area. Now the next two problems we're going to run into is the riser height here. Usually the riser height is going to have a minimum of seven and three quarter inches, or it might be eight inches, but you're probably not going to get away with nine inches or 11 inches. And we're also not going to have a problem with the rest of the stairway. Seven inch risers, two foot long or two foot deep treads or steps that are all the same size except for when we get to right here. Now in the next few examples I want to redesign the stairway and provide you with some ideas that might work and some ideas that might not work. And in order to do that we're going to need to figure out the total rise or the difference between the first level, lower level, and the upper level. And on an exterior stairway, I wouldn't add up all the risers. Simply measure each one of the risers and add them together and think you're going to get the total rise. Because it's not uncommon to slope the concrete steps, the balcony, or deck about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch per foot to allow for the water to drain off of it. So create a level line and simply measure up to the distance of the upper floor. And in our example here, we have four foot five and three sixteenths of an inch. A difference between the bottom and the top floor. And we're going to go ahead and divide this number by seven to try and add another riser to this. Now I'm only going to drop this down one and three sixteenths of an inch at the very top. And in reality, this will not be a riser. It will not be part of the stairway. So if I subtract my one and three sixteenths inches from the top, I'm going to have 52 inches here. And then if I divide that by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven risers, it's going to provide me with a 7.42 riser height, individual riser height for each one of the steps. So we're going to have two separate stairways with two different tread depths, 12 inches up here, two foot down here. And to accomplish this without removing the stairway, you're going to need to add a specific amount of material to the top of each one of the steps and then build another step and then add some material to this one. Now the thing I don't like with this is the thin measurement that we have here. And there's a very good chance you're going to have a difficult time finding a material that's going to stick to the concrete, whether it's going to be thinner or thicker. Again, another reason suggesting that you need to remove and replace, redesign the stairway. And another design suggestion that might not work because of this area right here would be to make each step the same depth and with the same riser height. So here we have one foot seven and nine sixteenths for our tread depth. And we have seven steps and of course seven risers. 
And again, these thin materials right here are going to be a big concern of mine whether or not something like this is going to last. And I do realize that there are plenty of people out there who have a difficult time figuring out that some of the information you find on the internet might not actually work. You don't get to see pictures of this stuff that they did five or ten years ago. They're not showing you. Why? Probably because it's not working. Now another problem you're going to have with this stairway is that you need three feet somewhere. Either this step right here needs to be three feet long, or this step here would need to be three foot. We need three foot in length to provide us with a step down or an even transfer to the landing here. However, you could always put a handrail on this side or a guardrail to prevent people from walking over to this side here and then maybe put some plants on top of it or repurpose it somehow to make something like this work. Or we can redesign the stairway again. Make the steps smaller here so that we can extend the length of the deck out another foot to give us the desired measurement we need here so that it could be approved by local building codes. However, you would need to verify with your local building department as to whether or not they're going to consider this a separate stairway from this one and allow you to use different size tread depths or riser heights. Otherwise, a stairway like this will need to be redesigned again to where all of the steps are the same size. And that could easily be done by extending the length of the landing and then coming down with the same size treads here as you would have down here. And if you're redesigning the stairway, you could always start it here and then use 12 inch steps or whatever you're using here for the tread depth and then simply come down. Maybe you're going to get to about here and then stop it somewhere about here and then it'll basically level off to the same height as this here to make everything work. And I hope that makes sense. Again, my concerns are going to be any of these thin areas here because I can almost guarantee this is going to crack right here. You're going to get a crack here, 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 and here. Which takes me back to my original thought on remodeling a project like this. And that would be to go ahead and remove it, redesign it to where it meets local building codes instead of wondering if something like this is going to last because you read somewhere that a new miracle product has just came out and it's going to solve all your problems when in fact it might not.